course participant lesson and action plans. He's done it again. He's so good. And from that, I'm actually going to present my screen now. I'm going to I'm going to take control. Um, and let me apologize because I've converted these into Word from PDF. So you're going to have to see what I'm sharing now. I'm going to share my entire screen. It is the other screen over here. Hopefully it's going to pop up on the screen there. There we go. Um, you're not going to be able to see exactly because, you know, it's a Word document. Um, but what they've done here is they've taken the lesson and they've gone through with different procedures, the traditional procedures you would have, um, looking at how they're going to present the new vocabulary and so on and so forth with the controlled practices. But then there's a bit more. There's the free practice and the green practice and the adding in the, um, the green corner, the critical thinking area that we have here. Does mus a music show have an effect on the environment? How does it affect the environment? What should we do to limit those, um, those effects that it has? And then there's also a green connection as well later on. There's a hook. So they're, they're still talking about the lesson, but they're connecting it to all of these other things. And the most important thing that we had was the action plan. Now, the action plan was cut down into three separate parts. We had integrating climate crisis into my classroom. And we can see here they've addressed their SMART goals, looked at the resources needed and how they're going to assess it. Going through each unit, how they're going to do it. And then we've got cutouts of those units. Stage two, which is coming up right now. Um, stage two was all about integrating it into the school and the neighborhood. And again, we've got our SMART goals. We've got our plans, our week by week plans. Um, and the final one was spreading the word um, in climate crisis with fellow uh, teachers and people in the region. So basically the idea of it was how these teachers, how these wonderful um, educators were going to take it to the next level. And, and as you saw from Neil's slide beforehand, it's, it's very clear and obvious that most of those teachers, most of those participants are continuing with that action plan. They have implemented that action plan. So for me, I would say it feels like it's been a success. I'm also still connected with these wonderful teachers and we still speak through our Jalo group. So it's all pretty wonderful. Now coming up here, he's below me now, um, on my screen at the very least, is the wonderful man um, with the plan, the amazing Neil. Um, so thank you very much, Neil, for Harry, charge there. And thank you because uh, I've learned so much from Harry about this issue. Um, and you know, we've had a lot of laughter, we've had a lot of fun with this, as have our participants. But I very much hope that you've experienced a little bit today of why we're so passionate about this topic and why we think it is so eminently suitable for work in ELT through existing course books and through specific climate change sessions. Our contact details are on screen now. Thank you very much indeed for sharing your time with us today. Thank you.